What are you working on? Uh, just trying to make some sense of these numbers. <laughs> what the... What did you hit? What happened to my spreadsheet? What exactly was the end game if I hadn't walked in? Ah, uh, there's nothing worse than grocery shopping on the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's the sound a rich family's turkey makes. There's still a lot more groceries in the car. Well, it's not a race. Take a break. Uh, if you knew how close we were to putting you down last year. Jeez, what's her problem? Ugh, Thanksgiving's exhausting. You know what she could use? A little sip of that drink I invented. Hi, Stewie Griffin here with my latest creation, Monster Energy Drink. What is it? I don't know, but it's free from this truck that stopped outside your work. Mix it with booze. Ever been wide awake, blacked out? Ever tried to jump over a train on a bike? Ever bit the beak off a bird? Monster Energy. Put it in your body and ask questions later. It's green, so it's nature. We now return to Guy Friends. So, you must be pretty pumped. For what? Oh, Olympics? Oh, yeah. I guess that's starting soon. I thought you were a big Olympics guy. Yeah, I like them okay. Huh. Guy friends. A computer made us roommates in college. That's why we're friends. Guy friends! Mail's here. Any flyers of Hispanic women running for city council? Yeah, there is. Thank you. Peter, you got a letter from your sister Karen. What? You've got a sister, Dad? How come we've never met her? Is she a prim and proper aunt or a big, fat, dirty aunt? I have no obligation to tell any of you anything. Mr. Griffin has shown good faith in appearing here today and will not be subjected to this sort of hostile interrogation. Your father doesn't like to talk about his sister, Meg. They've never really gotten along. Wow, Peter, in all the years I've known you, you've never even mentioned a sister. Big deal, I don't talk about my sister. I also don't talk about that tickling uncle. All right, Uncle Dan, remember, no tickling. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you didn't say anything about Uncle Neil. <laughs> Whose uncles are you? It says here your sister's coming for Thanksgiving. She what? If we're having guests, can I invite Rosario Vargas from the 3rd District, a leader you can depend on? I don't want Karen here. Peter, you've been avoiding your sister for too long. Besides, she says she's been having Thanksgiving with your mother for the last 20 years. And now that your mom has passed, she'd like to spend Thanksgiving with you. No. Peter, Karen's coming, and that's that. How cool! I didn't even know I had an aunt. I can't wait to meet her. Look, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be a disaster. Just like the alternate ending of Back to the Future. Well, if I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Harry, my name's Marty. I'm in a picture. To be contenders! We now return to The Cosby Show, knowing what we know now. Huh. I was so busy not seeing color, I didn't see the raping either. Okay, everyone. It'll be another hour before the turkey's done, but I made more appetizers. Ooh, grape jelly on a Triscuit. You're a whiz. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Save your appetite. I don't think I haven't noticed you've already had two drinks. You're like all the worst parts of a girlfriend. Ah, that must be Karen. I'll get it. And Karen? And you must be Meg. Do that to me! <laughs> wow, it's so cool that I've got an aunt I didn't know about. Wow, oh, Karen, I'm so happy you could make it. Lois Pewter Schmidt, the one that got away. I'm just joshing, kid. Auntie's not a biscuit bumper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> Peter, come say hello to your sister. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Karen, welcome to our... Bring it in, PP. <laughs> I like her. Hello. I am city councilwoman Rosario Vargas. Cohog doesn't work if it doesn't work for all of us. That's a beautiful pants 